The informal settlement is calm but tense. Residents say police stormed this shack last night, shooting 27-year-old Lloyd Baloy twice in his legs. Baloy is in a stable condition in hospital and plans to take action against police. Who shot you? It's police. Police insist only rubber bullets were used. Residents say they're lying. Yesterday when this happened, for us it was, we were paving a way forward to see that can we give the negotiation a chance now. At the center of the frustration, a demand for proper service delivery. No houses can be built because the rocky terrain makes it near impossible. Government has started relocating people to RDP homes. More than 1,000 people are accommodated here. 71-year-old Frida Manela moved from Tembalise. I felt so happy because I waited for so long. But not everyone stays put. These are some of the houses designated for residents of Tembalise, but authorities here are already facing an uphill battle. Some of the houses here have already been rented out. And the owners have moved back to the informal settlement. Meanwhile, analysts say rapid migration is compounding the problem. Many of these people are coming in asset poor and income poor, so they don't really have the means to be able to buy into formal settlements. And inevitably, they go into informal settlements where living conditions are rough, are difficult. And while authorities vow to remain in the area until calm is restored, these residents are gearing up for more protests. Crystal Lewis, SABC News, Johannesburg.